Hey there, my name is John Siskovich on my farm in Western Connecticut and I have a lot of chicken tractors because usually I, lay, I raise a lot of chickens and uh, I, I created some plans for them and I got a specific question from Nick Lincoln who wrote in, this is an Ask Me Anything video, uh, about how to keep them uh, a little bit stiffer, a little sturdier and one of the pieces of hardware I use to do that. So I wanna walk through uh, the corner of these guys right now and a possible upgrade for you guys. So Nick went to farmmarketingsolutions.com, went to the bottom of the homepage and asked me a question that I'm now answering on video. I actually emailed him first just to give him a quick answer, but wanted to make a follow-up video for you guys just in case you had the same question. I get a lot of the same questions in on a regular basis. So um, he's got a little bit of a longer response. I'm just gonna summarize it here. This, uh, this corner of the chicken tractor, I'm gonna sit down on wet grass and uh, this corner of the chicken tractor, I have a 90 degree gusset, it's a Simpson gusset, and it turns out Simpson's just the brand, uh, not to be confused with uh, Darby Simpson, who is my personal hero. But uh, uh, <laughs> this 90 degree gusset on the corner, uh, Nick was having trouble finding this exact piece of hardware in the store, and uh, wrote in to say, you know, can I use a piece of wood? Would you recommend something else? Now, the reason why I use these is that this is a square structure. This chicken tractor is a square structure. And uh, I wanna keep that shape. It fits into my trailer. It's how I move it around farm. And uh, I want to have some reinforcement as I'm pulling it through in case it gets stuck on some grass, get hits a rock, whatever the case may be. Having something in the corners to help it keep its shape and keep a little stiffness uh, is good. Now, if uh, you can't find these metal things, making a wooden corner uh, is not going to be your best solution. If you cut out a little 45 degree angle here out of wood, now Zip is helping uh, helping illustrate. Sorry, dog. <clears throat> um, if you were to create a small piece of wood, even if you pre-drilled it uh, and countersank, when you screw into that, that little piece of wood is going to splinter. If you're going to put a 45 on something, you want to have it at least a foot or more long just to add in, uh, to make sure that that wood doesn't splinter. Now, if you can't find this specific metal gusset, this 90 degree reinforcement, you can use any metal bracket that you can find. Anything that is gonna work for you to help reinforce that joint. Uh, it's screwed in in a couple different places and there is, I mean, it's pretty sturdy to begin with, but I like that little added uh, bonus of the metal gusset because the back is where you have the wheels, the front is where you're, you have your rope and you're pulling on it. It takes a little extra torsion. Uh, it's what's uh, holding everything together as it's sitting on the ground and you wanna just reinforce that. So if you can't find this exact one, just take the concept that you're reinforcing the corner, get a metal bracket or you can custom make something, you can buy something, I don't know how many different ways to say it, I'm gonna just try to keep the video short uh, and put whatever you want in the corner. My area around me, if you can see behind me, uh, there are hills everywhere, everything is rolling, nothing is flat here. And with that, my land is all rolling and kind of, you know, just pitches here and there, tiny little swales and swards and all this stuff. And these chicken tractors for me have worked out really well because they can bend and flex just enough uh, to keep a good even contact with the ground so my chickens don't escape and so predators do not get in. Uh, it's more annoying when the chicks are really small. If you have uneven ground and your chicken tractor is uneven, those little birds are going to escape out underneath. And then I take blocks of wood, just firewood because we were heating our home with uh, firewood. Uh, just blocks of firewood that I keep with the chicken tractors that I use to block those holes to keep from birds getting out. And uh, yeah, that's about, I mean, at four minutes in, that's about all I can say on this topic. Now we're gonna go to my sheet. And uh, Mike Colton uh, had a question uh, about duckweed. We're gonna go to a pond over in the distance there. And we're gonna talk about alternative chicken feeds in tomorrow's video and why you should or should not be exploring them. But for now, Oh man, the freaking sun is coming up. I'm gonna get my day started. I have no idea what the lighting looks like in this video now, but uh, for me, it is gorgeous. So enjoy your day, and until tomorrow, I will see you out in the field. You're not gonna get the reinforcement that you're looking at. <coughs> Ew, dog. Uh, I don't know if you heard that. He just coughed. <laughs>